If I were to compare it to the Adidas Night Jogger, if I were to compare it with the Adidas NMD, Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for today's episode, we're going to talk about the newest Adidas sneaker that has boost. This is the Adidas ZX or ZX2K Boost. I think that's what it's called. So if you're interested in this amazing looking, interesting, fascinating sneaker, keep on watching. Let's go! Now, Adidas has been experimenting with their Boost technology ever since they had the massive hit, of course, with the Adidas Ultra Boost. This is the Adidas Ultra Boost 20, the latest iteration uh, of the Boost running sneaker that we've all come to love. Kaya nga, Boost is life, di ba? Now, through the years, they've come up with even more Boost sneakers. Uh, one of the shoes that popularized it uh, for lifestyle, of course, being this one. Who can forget uh, the NMD? the adidas nmd and this is actually the adidas nmd r1 v2 so this is the second iteration of the popular lifestyle sneaker of adidas if you want to buy one by the way i'll put the link down below on where you can get a pair for sale over at uh, zalora really nice shoe the v2 love this one much better than the v1 in my opinion now through the years one of the latest ones as well is this uh, this is the Adidas Night Jogger and I've been reading in the comments is that some of you find it uncomfortable. I had that experience if you watch my previous reviews. Um, initially, I didn't like it but when I went a half size up, when the base was a little bit wider, I found it to be so much more comfortable. So you might want to experiment with that if ever you're going to cop yourself an Adidas uh, Night Jogger. They're all on sale now these days so they're actually kind of easy to to get now which leads me to the latest shoe that we have over here that i want to feature the zx uh, 2k boost or 4k boost i forgot the exact name but this shoe i've been seeing it on ads on instagram apparently it's supposed to launch in the philippines officially on august 28th but it's already available on i think i bought this in zalora so i'll put a link also on where you guys can and pick this one up if you want to buy it now, very brief history before we talk about the feel of the shoe. Uh, the ZX line is something I think that came, the running sneaker line that came out, if not in the 90s or the 80s, that featured colorful designs. And of course, uh, the Boost technology is, well, Boost, right? So it's a combination of the old and the past coming together to put together this new sneaker. Now, if you take a look at the midsole, you have that gradient color of purple and blue. Uh, and this particular part actually encases that Boost midsole all the way up to here at the forefoot. And then you have some sort of perforated upper in different parts of the shoe to give it more breathability and flexibility. And you have different overlays on top that give it more structure and a futuristic vibe. So if you take a look at it from different angles, medyo maangas nga naman siya tingnan. You have the three stripes along the lateral and the medial side, and of course, you have the lacing system. It is more of a slip-on shoe than it is like your typical lace-up shoe. It has a pull tab, and it has a really nice Adidas logo here at the back of the heel. Now, the big question is, how is this shoe on feet? Um... It is one of those sneakers that's comfortable to wear for a certain time period. And then there is some sort of like heel fatigue that sets in. And allow me to explain. It is comfortable because there is some sort of bounce. It, it, I mean, it's really bounce. Ako, you know? there, is a, <laughs> there is a spring to your step if you are rocking this shoe. I don't know if it's the composition of the bounce or this particular material that they have at the back of the heel, but it is more pronounced than the bounce that you would get with the night jogger and even more than what you would get with the adidas nmd so if this is more cushioning parang inaalalayan yung paabo bumaba this one is more a flatter version of that uh, this one pag apak mo parang it really propels you forward and that's a nice thing about it there's at least it has a very different feel it kind of uh it kind of pays homage to the zx being a running line now having said that there is some sort of like heel fatigue because the back of the heel, this part is kind of high 
reminds me of the 270s from Nike, which kind of angles your feet downward. And maybe as you are walking for an extended period of time, which I felt because I clocked in over 20,000 steps already with this one, uh, in our daily quest, me and my wife to get 20,000, st uh, 10,000 steps daily. Uh, and it's something that I noticed because after I would clock in maybe around 4,000, 5,000 steps, I would feel some sort of fatigue in my heel, something that I would never get uh, of course, for example, with my favorite running sneakers, especially uh, the, the Pure Boost. Alam mo yung Pure Boost na I I know a lot of people are loving the the Ultra Boost and the Pulse Boost. I kind of I, I I'm missing the OG Pure Boost because it was wider. And for people like me who have wide feet, that is just like a, a, a godsend. But anyway, so yun yun napansin ko dito. So there is that foot fatigue, a heel fatigue that sets in after a certain period of time. However, is it a deal breaker? Well, it really depends on, on, on what you're going to do with the shoe. If you're going to use it primarily to clock in 10,000 steps every day, sunod sunod, like in one walk, then obviously it's not the best shoe to wear. You're better off wearing running sneakers. But if it's just like a casual, going out to the mall when the pandemic is over obviously mahirap pumunta sa mall ngayon uh, then i think it's a really good sneaker to to consider it's a different lifestyle shoe it's not your typical ultra boost it's not your typical nmd and the great news is there are a lot of colorways available uh, that you can buy on zalora or the adidas website now if i were to compare it to the adidas night jogger which of the two uh, would I actually lean towards? I'd lean towards this uh, more than the Night Jogger because I feel that the added bounce, that added spring to your step with this makes it a little bit more unique and gives it that advantage. I'd also say the same if I were to compare it with the Adidas NMD. I like the classic look. I mean, style-wise, I actually prefer the cleaner look and the more classic, iconic look of the NMD. But for me, that, that additional step, that additional spring, that bounce is something that I'm really loving. Again, yung issue lang talaga is nakangalay sa likod ng paa pag matagal. But, but maybe that's just me because I have wide and flat feet. And maybe for you guys who have narrow and normal feet, you might not have that problem. Malas ko naman kung ganun, no? But anyway, by the way, uh, I got a comment asking if talaga bang boost yung nandito sa likod. Is there boost really encased over here? Well, it's kind of easy to spot. All you have to do is take a look at the bottom on the outsole and you can see the boost material here at the back. So pretty much everything, this full length midsole is made out of our favorite boost material. So yeah, that's actually it for my review of the Adidas uh, ZX4000 or 2000. I forgot what the actual number is. Nakahiya akong YouTuber or vlogger, no? But yeah, you, you guys get the idea. Boost shoe. If you want one, I'll put a link down below on where you can buy it from Zalora. Uh, it's, it's a nice sneaker. Just take into account everything that I just said based on my 20,000 step review. Oh, and if you missed my last vlog where I talked about the Realme C15, I'll put the link down below as well. I featured this, which is like the President Duterte face mask. So a lot of novel, like novelty face masks coming out. Problem is this is just all cloth uh, and there's not like good filter in it. Just a reminder, if you will be wearing like cloth face masks, it's still recommended that you wear like a surgical three-ply face, face mask uh, underneath it, just so you are 100% safe, okay? And with that said, this is Carlos signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed our quick vlog for today. And as usual, Peace, God bless, what's up, boom.